All right, guys, on this one, we're talking about math clamp. A lot of people get confused on this one. They mix this one up between math clamp and math comp. Huge, huge difference between these two, okay? Math comp is where you're using that one to get your airflow and your math readings in line so that they match each other. You're basically maybe fooling the ECU and to think you're reading a mass airflow frequency um, outside of what it thinks it is to get your air fuel ratio in check. Math clamp, which is what we're discussing here, is what you're use, using when you are using a mass, air, mass airflow sensor, either a stock one or even a uh, GM mass airflow sensor, and you're going above what that mass airflow sensor can read, okay? Um, it, they will only read up to a certain amount. This is really usually only applies to either a first gen or second gen, maybe even a, a Evo math. The GM mass airflow sensor can usually read pretty high without really needing this. Uh, honestly, I have never ever needed to even touch this mass airflow, or I mean this math clamp tab because people are either um, running too low of a, an airflow to really even need this or they're swapping over to speed density where it's no longer used and that's when you're using a map sensor anyway. So, um, and basically what you're doing here is, uh, well first you're gonna be enabling math clamp if you're gonna use it and you have a dis uh, display template here, either stock intake manifold or sheet metal intake, uh, sheet metal intake manifold, just whichever one you wanna use or you can use none. And then obviously we're gonna be using map map uh, pressure for map sensor if you're going to be using it. Uh, I have heard of people uh, not using a map sensor with it. I forget right offhand the reason why is to not be using it. Uh, I'd have to go and research that one but basically what you're doing on this one you're going into speed density you have to uh, if you're going to be doing that you would need a map sensor um, for this. That's where usually people are going with speed density anyway uh, above the point where they're Mass, mass airflow sensor cuts off and if they're having to go get a map sensor they're wanting to swap over to speed density anyway but let's say if you are wanting to use this feature you're doing mass air mass overrun so above your mass airflow sensor reading what it will uh, will read you're using a map sensor to, and then going into speed density above that level and uh, and then you're basically for your clamp switch over the, what this is let's say if you're Let's say, for example, your mass airflow sensor may be cutting out around 2,500 hertz, okay? We want this low enough here to be able to kick it in to MAF clamp before you get to a problem where you're starting to have a problem with your mass airflow sensor not reading enough and start having drivability issues. So you will switch over to this um, below that point where you're having the issue. And then all you're doing, you're going to whatever tab for that RPM uh, for each one, 500 RPM increments. And then you're either adding or lowering, lowering each one depending on how much fuel you need to add or subtract um, per whatever that RPM is, okay? Um, this one's kind of blotchy. I mean, you could, uh, or not really blotchy, but it's not very smooth. And you may want to smooth it out some depending on what it is. But basically you're... Uh, uh, y band factor may tell you what that is, or you may just be guessing just to get your uh, air fuel ratio in check. Okay, uh, but that's basically that's all this is for. Something that I've never even had to use on a single car out of all the cars I've been tuning, no one has ever used it yet. Not to say I wouldn't know how to use it, just haven't ever seen anyone that's needed it. So, but if you have any questions about it, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you out.